How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be reviewing the ARC A380 in 2025. This was a card that basically nobody wanted in the budget range for the past couple of years due to Intel being plagued with some driver issues and just overall lackluster performance. But in 2025, have these issues iron themselves out? We will see in today's video. The main reasoning behind making this video is just due to the sheer cheap price of the A380. You can find these sometimes for about $90 off of Amazon. Right now, I think the cheapest one's about $100, but still, that is a very good deal for a brand new GPU. Going over the specs, it's going to perform about as well as a GTX 1650, which is honestly why I think people are having a big issue with it, because you can find a GTX 1650 for about $60 to $70 online, while these are going for a lot more on the used market. The first game that I tested with this card is Fragpunk, which is basically a new first person shooter game that came out not too long ago. It is running on the Unreal Engine, so you know, it could be decently hard to run, but on low settings, we are getting pretty good performance, running at about 100 to 120 FPS every single time. Next up, we have one of my all-time favorite games, and that is Fallout 4. This actually ran very well. We were at 1080p ultra settings, and we were normally at about 70 to 80 FPS, depending on where we were on the map. If we were inside, you could also see this go to about 120 FPS. But if you were in a pretty heavily populated area, it could dip down below the 60 FPS mark. One weird little quirk that this card has is that it never wants to go above 55 watts. I had to go into the software and try to like manually overclock it just so that I could even get it to 50 watts because oftentimes it would cap out at about 45. Um, this is definitely leaving some performance on the table because as you know, the higher the power, usually the more FPS you're going to get out of games. Next up, we have the most popular game on Steam, and that is CS2. This is a game that initially had very bad driver issues with the ARC cards, and as of today, it is running very well. We are getting about 140 FPS to 160 FPS on average with low settings 1080p. If you want a competitive playing machine, the A380 can actually do that, um, getting that high refresh rate. Next up, we have Fortnite, which of course is a very popular game to this day. And Fortnite is kind of an oddity where it runs sort of well, but also not ideal. Whenever we have it on performance mode, it does not run super well. So I end up having it on DX12, which is a little bit more graphically intensive. And we're getting about 110 to 130 FPS on average. Now we all know that Fortnite is very stuttery, but honestly on DX12, it runs pretty smooth, albeit at a lower frame rate than I would like. What you also have to keep in mind is that the ARC A380 comes with the AV1 video encoder, which is what I am actually using to record my gameplay. So there is going to be somewhat of a performance hit, but this does perform a lot better than some of the AMD cards out there in terms of encoding. Last but not least, we have my very favorite game right now, and that is Marvel Rivals. This is a game that is known to be very hard to run because it is on the Unreal Engine 5. And honestly, even my main computer has a tough time getting that competitive 144 if I'm not using some sort of upscaling. We are using the highest upscaling possible, and that is the Epic TSR. And on ultra performance, this will give us the best frame rate out of everything, including Intel ZESS and the FSR. We ended up getting around 100 FPS, which honestly for this card is very good. I was very surprised that it even did as well as it did. And yeah, overall it performed a lot better than I would have expected.
in conclusion, I do think the A380 is a little bit overhated, but I do think that there's only a couple of circumstances in which you should buy this. Let's say you're looking for a brand new GPU around the $100 mark. This seems to be the only logical GPU to buy at that amount. If you're looking for a used GPU, I do not recommend this at all because there's way more options out there for around the same price that'll get you, you know, maybe 1.5, maybe two times the performance of the ARC A380. If you like this video, make sure you let me know down below by smashing that like button and then maybe hitting that subscribe button. Uh, I appreciate you guys if you made it this far. I'll see you later.